Mum, it's a very sad day for the monarchy and indeed the world. You trained for Her Majesty. What are some of your fondest memories dealing with the Queen? Your father and I were lucky to have met Her Majesty. We feel very privileged uh, on a number of occasions, always at the races. And that was where it was her, her space, her, her, her special time to enjoy what she loved most, which were horses. She had a great affinity, firstly with the equine, and, and also with the people who trained the horses, no matter if how high a position or how, how low, no matter where they rate, fell in life, she could relate to them. She, she was a great role model for, for all people. Not everyone gets through to the Queen when they call Buckingham Palace, but you did. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, it's arranged by her racing manager and they, they notify you and then the, uh, you ring into Buckingham Palace and they put you through. And uh, when I trained this horse, Carlton House, which was a beautiful colt that came out from uh, Sir Michael Stout's in England, when he did win, uh, I said to Her Majesty, I said he just waved goodbye to them with his tail and said, see you later, alligator. And she, she giggled down the phone. I don't think she'd had a, any of her trainers quite say that. She had a lovely sense of humour. She had a, a lovely simplicity about herself that was made her so special, so, so approachable. Beautiful reflections out there. And you can imagine Gay and Her Majesty, they would click, wouldn't they? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh. And, and just that knowledge of breeding and racing, we, we spoke about it earlier on, and we would have loved to have just been able to sit down and yeah. have a cup of tea with her and just talk about racing because that was clearly her passion and that's ours as well. 100%.